On Capitol Hill, the historic political battle over choosing a House Speaker is now in its second day. Kevin McCarthy has still not secured enough votes needed to take the gavel, even after, get this, six rounds of voting. Nicole D'Antonio has the latest. A speaker has not been elected. The rebellion continued on the House floor with far-right Republicans refusing again to rally around Kevin McCarthy for House Speaker, nominating Florida's Byron Donalds instead. This country needs a change. This country needs leadership that does not reflect this city. Wednesday afternoon, McCarthy still couldn't reach the necessary 218 votes, with a group of conservative lawmakers holding out against business as usual. We're going to continue to talk and we'll find an agreement where we all get together and we'll work through this and we'll get it done. Former President Donald Trump urged Republicans to vote for McCarthy, posting Kevin McCarthy will do a good job and maybe even a great job. The stalemate here brings all other work to a standstill. The House needs a speaker in order to swear in members and begin legislative business. President Biden said the congressional skirmish is not a good look. I uh, just think it's a little embarrassing it's taking so long in the way they're doing with one another. And the rest of the world looking. Democrats were united in nominating their party leader, New York's Hakeem Jeffries, and quick to point out the contrast with their feuding colleagues. What we saw was the true character of the modern day Republican Party, obsessed with power and their own personal advancement. This is very sad for the country. Friday marks two years since the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol, a day that showed the deadly consequences of the nation's divisions. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Washington.